Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Some Golf. Just go ahead and load up our file here. And when we last left off, we had left hole number four a little bit unfinished. So the first thing I'm gonna want to do today is finish up or I guess you could say remake the second part of hole number four here. I'm gonna go ahead and let this blimp get out of the way first, and at least fix these graphical glitches there. Those seem to come up just about every time you open the game. Not a big deal, though. And while we're waiting, I think I'll go ahead and hire another groundskeeper, because we will need a groundskeeper for call number four here. Really looking forward to getting six holes completed on our course because then we can hire the advanced jobs. And advanced groundskeepers really are quite a bit better. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually pause the game in mid-bounce of this ball right here. <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and start deconstructing hole four here. And what pausing the game will allow us to do, actually, is let these two guys finish their round on this hole. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to leave this green here for now so those guys will have a little bit of green to land on. Or a little bit of fairway to land on, that is. And, alright. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move the hole back closer to the course as it stands now. What this will allow us to do is have a little bit more real estate to work with when we start having to squeeze in more holes. Space will become sparse for holes as we make more of them. We already have almost half of our course unlocked and we only have <laughs> about four holes made so yeah, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. You'll notice that I actually put the T... I didn't stick it deep into the corner of this wetlands here. Hole number three is already a little bit like that, and wetlands is really bad news for our golfer, so I'll just stick it catty-cornered. That's close enough. And I'll just build this fairway out here. I'll go ahead and get rid of this fairway for now so that we can really get the big picture of what we're going for here on this hole. Go ahead and delete a little bit of fairway right there. Next thing I want to do, this has actually been bothering me since I posted the last video. Oops, that's not what I meant. I want to go ahead and fill these squares in with firm fairway so we get a nice zigzag of firm fairway instead of just random plots. <laughs> Minor change, but it kind of helps the aesthetics of the course. And the next thing I'm going to do is actually add some sand trap into this right side of the hole here. And what this will allow is, I'll show y'all in a second, but this will add a little bit of an impediment for golfers with no imagination. Shouldn't be too big of a deal for them, but it'll balance out the hole nicely for all different kinds of golfers. And finally, I'm going to go ahead and use a new terrain type, the stream. I haven't used any stream on the course yet. To be honest, I'm not too big of a fan of stream, but it is five times cheaper than water. <laughs> it's only a thousand dollars, and water is five thousand, so... <laughs> nice way to save a little bit of money while we're still a little bit hungry for money. I think I'll go ahead and I want to add a little bit of, more of an organic feel to our stream here, even though it has to be 90 degree angles. 
And I'll just go ahead and unpause, give these guys a little bit of a fair way to work with here. Oh. And this guy actually brings it up. <laughs> I mentioned the radio antenna in the last update, and it seemed like no one really had any love for the radio antenna. Oh, oops. Forgot to open the hole. Well, maybe these guys will go ahead and finish. <laughs> maybe? Nope, they won't. That's too bad. There's always something to forget. But yeah, it seems that no one really had any love for the radio antenna. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. And a lot of people in the third were like, no, you can't get rid of radio antennas. They're just a necessary evil. And I know where those guys are coming from because on previous installs of this game, even on the same patch I'm using, I wasn't able to get rid of radio antennas, but the game does let me do it for some reason. So I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of it. <laughs> Nothing lost. Something interesting to note though, I can't actually build over the square where the radio antenna was. I can build around it, but I can't build on the actual square. So it will just remain rough for all eternity. And let me go ahead and do a little bit of shot analysis real fast before these guys get to the hole to show y'all what I'm talking about here. And this particular one, everyone that has no imagination is actually going in the sand trap. But I promise you that not everyone that lacks imagination will end up in the sand trap. Yeah, like, see, this guy can get down there. And also about the sand trap, sometimes people with no accuracy will also end up in the sand trap. So the way we have it now, some golfers with no length will end up up here. Some golfers with no accuracy will end up either far left or right and but they all have potential to get down to the bottom here as we can see one of every shot type makes it down here actually at least on that analysis really pleased how this hole seemed to turn out actually <laughs> and now seven minutes into the video we'll let someone actually play the hole <laughs> I did go ahead and add a little bit more fairway up here. I don't want people to have to land in the rough. And let's go ahead and just add the finishing touches on this hole. Make our cart path. I'm actually just going to bring the cart path off of this hole number two path. And the reason for that mainly is because you guys can't tell, but back in this area, <laughs> it's actually some horrible terrain. It is like just completely like, yeah, you can see the angle that the pathway would want to take right here. It's just terrible. And it's mainly because of what I did with this tree here <laughs> and what I had to do to make it work so that golfers wouldn't hit onto the hole too green. But it's okay. I think this sh should avoid people having any steep slope problems. Yeah, it looks like this guy is not having any steep slope problems. And I'm going to go ahead and actually raise this terrain a little bit. That looks pretty good. And I think I've left enough area for people to work with as far as fairway goes in between this stream here. Oh, huh. That guy almost went in the water. That reminds me. Let me go ahead and raise these points here. Wetlands really is bad news for our golfers, so I do want them to stay out of it, if at all possible. And finally, I'm going to go ahead and add some sand trap to the back of this hole here, just to reward more accurate golfers. Oh, that guy got a double bogey. <laughs> That's too bad. What's this guy get? Double bogey. Alright. That's not so good. We'll keep an eye on how people do on this hole. I think it should turn out alright, though. While we're letting these guys finish the round, I'm going to go ahead and drop a snack bar 
I think I mentioned in the last video that you do need a snack bar about every three to four holes. Just to keep the golfer's hunger bar up here. As you can see, they do have a thirst and a hunger bar. And you fill the thirst bar with the Sally Soda vendors. But you need the stack bar for hunger. But our snack bar does need to be connected to Pathway before it will operate. And I'll go ahead and show off right here. The game, similar to how Cart Path operates when going over Fairway, does not become official Cart Path. So what I'm going to do instead is just build some more path out of our clubhouse. And I'll just uh, do something a little bit like this. That way we'll have a nice continuous fluid cart path. And I'll go ahead and get rid of the cart path right here since I can go ahead and have the cart path just connect from the one we just made. This guy thinks this shot's too easy. I think I'll just live with that though. Kinda hoping this stream would be a sufficient deterrent to too easy, but hmm. I think it'll be alright. This raised elevation point right here though really will set golfers back as far as putting difficulty goes. Maybe hmm. I'll just go ahead and lower that point. My you know what, I think I'll actually go ahead and bite the bullet and... Oh man, it's so expensive here. I think I'll turn these two squares into rough. <laughs> I don't know why it's so expensive to build over wetlands. I guess we have to pay the government some tax subsidies or something. <laughs> for going into natural habitats. All right, this guy got a par. Nice. And this guy got just a bogey. Not bad, not bad. I like it. So I'm pretty satisfied with hole number four for now. And I think we'll just go ahead and start working on hole number five. I'm actually going to add some more sand trap right there real fast. Now, we do have some extra funds. A little bit of a surplus. Our next land expansion is only going to cost us about sixty to seventy thousand dollars. So we do have about fifty thousand dollars of wiggle room. So what I'm going to do on this hole is something a little bit video gamey, I guess you could say. This is a hole I generally do like to put on my courses. <laughs> just for fun. It is a hole where you can let your golfers go for it. And basically I'm going to... Oh, no, I do want this to be a par 4 I think. Uh, yeah. Sometimes you have to game the system a little bit to get the pars how you want it. And let's go ahead and... Dang it. Alright. Will anyone even go for it like this? <laughs> One guy. Uh, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and open the hole to set it as a par 4, and then I'll add the fairway here. Now let's see what they think. Some people are willing to go for it. Doesn't look too bad, actually. Nice, I am Picky's finally arrived. I was expecting him to show up a lot earlier, to be honest. In my test run, huh? This guy thinks this hole's too hard. <laughs> In my test runs, he showed up when our skill rating was only sitting at about 
people are thinking this hole's a little bit too hard. Maybe I'll do some quick oh. elevation changes to see if we can coerce the ball a little bit maybe for some people <laughs> let's see what the that looks pretty good actually that might even be a little bit overpowered but <laughs> whatever uh -huh. huh I did actually open it up alright so uh oh. I can already tell Maria Ivanovich is not going to have a good time on this hole. Oh, she's tired. Yeah, I guess I did forget to put in a bench. We'll go ahead and do that real fast. <laughs> Those guys immediately <laughs> flock to the bench. I used to really enjoy these rounded benches here. But nowadays, I tend to prefer the red benches. Don't really get a chance to get too much red onto the golf course. So a nice little splash of red right here is nice. Now, unfortunately, I am going to have to find a creative way to... Maybe not so creative, actually. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and put some rough there. But I really don't want people to go for this shot if they can't make it. That still looks... Ah, man. Everyone's going for it now. Man, you know what? I'm going to put some sand trap here instead. Now what do they have to say about that? Alright. That's a little bit better. Bit of a deterrent for them. Gonna go ahead and raise the edges. Yeah, she got a triple bogey. I was not expecting her to have a very good time right there. That's too bad. It looks like we're not gonna get a. Uh... <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I thought that was Ivana Richmond for a second, but really it's just Maria Ivanich. <laughs> You know, something I haven't shown off yet is Ivana Richmond landmarks. And I think this would actually be a nice spot to drop one. I'll go ahead and drop a Civil War cannon right here. And it looks like it'll actually catch both of these holes, which is fantastic. It's always nice to get two for ones where you can. So basically, not only will golfers appreciate, uh, go ahead and add a little bit more green right here, but also a square of water right here. Not only will golfers see the landmarks and their attitude will go up, they also will get some kind of skill upgrade from it. I'm not sure how it works. There's nothing palpable in the game that shows you how it works. There's not like a meter or anything, so... I haven't actually looked to see if there's any backup on hole number four. Alright, there's not... And hopefully with this cannon, a lot of people will be able to get it there if they go for it. We do want our sims to succeed. And I think my next or Oh, yeah, I did forget to make pathway. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead... Drop some cart path like this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of a few of these trees here. Now that we have some more disposable income, I'm definitely going to look to start making some aesthetic changes and get rid of a lot of these trees. Not all of them, but mainly the ones along the cart path. We'll still have some nice trees over here. We'll get rid of some more of these trees as we build more holes, but...
And while I'm thinking about it, I'm actually going to go ahead and drop a scenic bridge here. Mm. Scenic bridges only go one way. <laughs> they only... You can only place them for some reason. Oh, nice. This is something we haven't seen yet. This is, I guess, the way you win the game, <laughs> if you can call it such a thing, is going for the highest total score. Score seems to factor in a mixture of the fun rating, the skill rating, the amount of cash you have, and also the amount of holes you have, I would say. Maybe. So, yeah. Got a lot of Gary Goffs in here. These OG dies and LF dies are just like the auto-programmed in ones. And I've done pretty good scores, but... What? Who's this guy in first place here? My god. We will definitely have to take him down. Alright. <laughs> just a stupid aside, but... <laughs> I don't know. Alright, I just blew y'all's mind. Check this out. What happened to our course? Do you even recognize it anymore? Wow, which hole is even this? I don't know. Actually, there's only four holes, so you can probably still tell what's going on. <laughs> but what I did is I actually rotated the camera, or the map rather, 90 degrees. And what this will allow me to do is drop a scenic bridge right here and have it make sense. <laughs> so. Before y'all start questioning everything in this sim golf world, let me just go ahead and move the map backwards. My god, it changed the scenic bridge. That's never actually happened to me before. Huh. Alright. I'm not sure what to say, to be honest. Dang. Well, that's too bad. I'll just go ahead and, uh, put a... What the? Oh, I know what I need to do. I think. I need to put this here and put some pathway right there. And maybe that'll fix it? Yeah, that looks like that fixed it. Right Perfect. I'll also put a pathway coming off there for now. And now... Man, the map's all screwed up. Where are we? Okay, okay. Things are back to normal. Whew. I know that gets a little crazy. Rotating the map like that. I'll go ahead and build a another Joe's groundskeeper. I think I need to Yeah, I definitely need to race that point for sure. So basically, I have this entire island sinking in. <laughs> Maybe that's a little bit cheap. But... At least the green is at an angle, so they will have to make a nice part. <laughs> did, they, did they count hole number four as a par four? We'll go ahead and look at something I haven't shown off yet. They did count it as a, hole, as a par four. No wonder people are getting all those bogeys. Let me go ahead and reopen that real fast. I do want this to be a par 5. Go ahead and pause the game. And... There we go. We did see someone mention earlier on hole number 5 here, not another par 4. And that caught me off guard because this was supposed to be a par 5. So hopefully that will actually fix a lot of the problems on this hole. Giving it another stroke. See? This guy is down with the Civil War Cannon. Everyone loves the Civil War Cannon. <laughs> a little bit out of place on this tropical golf course, but what can you do? The landmarks don't actually... Actually, you know what? I'm 80% sure they don't change with the type of course you're playing on, but I could be wrong. Maybe some of them change. But a Civil War Cannon does seem a bit out of place next to this 
clear blue water, doesn't it? Uh -huh. I want to see if I can go ahead and delete this path. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, nice. Mm -hmm. I really don't oh. like seeing that non-cart path pathway. Looks like I am Picky's not oh. in any rush to tee off, so I'm going to go ahead and work on hole number one a little bit. At the end of the last video, I mentioned, or we saw that hole number one actually has quite a large percent. Uh, not anymore, actually, but I guarantee you it's the sixth option. They think that there's some too easy shots on this hole. So. I've come up with a pretty good way to fix that, I think. What I'm going to do, actually, is now that we have a bit more discretionary income, I'm going to actually add a nice uh, line of water across here. Not too much water, but it does turn this part of the hole into a nice little island. Kind of like the way it looks. I think it looks nice. Like this. And like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of some of these tropical trees on the cart path here. And this is actually a problem I've noticed on this hole. I actually, <laughs> I actually noticed this problem while I was playing the hole. Full disclosure, I was actually planning on playing a round of golf, but some interesting things happened <laughs> while we were playing, so or while we were making our course today. So I guess we'll save it for next time. But I actually noticed that having this point lower right here was making a lot of shots end up in the rough over here. And raising this point of elevation actually will fix a lot of that. I think I'll go ahead and raise these two points of elevation also. Oh. Nice. I am Picky has approved our plans. And yeah. So this plot number seven here will only cost us sixty-three thousand. Only. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and let's go ahead and take a look at the land we got here. Really, some quite nice land here. Not a lot of trees, which is a huge bonus, and some interestingly placed water. Definitely will look forward to getting over there. I'll go ahead and just get rid of this lady radio antenna. What's the new average? 4.66. I think I made this area up here a bit too easy. Let's go ahead and lower that point. That one. Yeah. Yeah, into the rough you go, bud. Sorry, but them's the brakes. Looks like we might be looking at a bit of backup right here. I'm gonna go ahead and do some preventative maintenance and get a ranger out here. Someone in the thread mentioned a lot of good reasons that you can get backup at holes. And one of them is having a terrible first shot. <laughs> Especially like this, where some of the golfers with no length won't go for it, and they won't be out of range for the next group to go. So they'll have to end up waiting for them to finish the entire hole. But, to be honest, I'm not uh, willing to <laughs> sacrifice shots like this. I think they're fun for the hole. And really, we'll probably end up with enough spots for Randy Rangers. Well, I'll end up doing a bit of creative hole placement so that we can triple up a few Randy Rangers, hopefully. Also gonna go ahead and 
hire another Sally Soda vendor for this. Can go ahead and double up on hole number one and number five. Always a plus. So, I think that'll be about it for this update. We'll definitely play around next update. Since we're completely done with hole number 5, we won't have to spend as much time, because this update we definitely had to do some work on hole number 4. But, like I said, pretty pleased with how it turned out. Lots of uh, good suggestions for how to make this hole better, and it really turned out nice. Oh yeah, one thing though, we did get a new... We got a new building, so to speak, for opening hole 5, the swimming pool. Not sure where I should put it. It's really not too big of a deal. Somewhere out of the way though. This isn't a very big decision though, to be honest. I'll just place it somewhere at the beginning of the next update. But, for the next update, we'll definitely be working on a hole, and I'll start it probably... I'll start it somewhere in this area. And we'll finish it somewhere over here by the snack bar, so we can get people going by the snack bar again. So it'll be something like... Actually... I think I want to have the next screen after that be like right here, so I can put Mandy Ranger <laughs> on these two. I don't know. I'm thinking too far ahead right now. All these ideas for some golf. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, the next hole, rough outline, something like this. <laughs> this is already something we'll have to look into, making them not go to this screen here. But yeah, some kind of nice dog leg. Maybe it's time for another par three. We'll definitely be bulldozing through a bunch of these trees right here. But, again, if you guys have any ideas for holes, uh, by all means, this is the area of the course we'll be concentrating on for the next hole. And I'll go ahead and throw a picture of it up with this post. But, I think that'll be about it for now. And this has been Let's Play Some Golf. Hope you all enjoyed this update, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.